Hero House! Alright ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to another Hero House Reviews. Today we're looking at the G.I. Joe classified Cobra Viper. Now, they don't say if he's a Viper Trooper or what, but he looks like a paratrooper. I mean, he looks like a dude who's going to parachute in and mess stuff up. But it just continues the tradition of the G.I. Joe classifieds putting out army builder figures that are better than most, like, name figures in Marvel Legends or just any other line. I mean, the sculpting and the detail on this dude is insane. He has one accessory that's not good, which is the goggles that he's got dangling here. You've seen I've hooked them over his gun holster, because if you try and put them on his head, they just scrape the paint off the helmet, which is super annoying. So watch out with the goggles, be aware of that. Other than that, everything else is amazing. I mean, you can just see the level of detail that's gone into him. He's got, yeah, texturing all over. His backpack is so well done. Hey, how cool does that look? Got his little length of rope. He's got a holster for his pistol. His boots are done. Everything, everything textured. Very well colored, very dynamic color scheme. Beautiful, beautiful figure, and it's just a generic dude. It's an army person, and it just looks so good. You've got the pistol, you've got the assault rifle, you've got his little neckerchief thing, ascot, whatever it is, it's dashing. It comes off, and then the backpack also comes off, so you can have him looking different if you buy multiple figures. So yeah, great army builder. Don't know why it's so much effort is going into these when, like, the Marvel Legends line is just less effort into named figures. Ridiculous. But I guess we'll just dive into articulation. Uh, he's got a butterfly joint hidden in there. Not a great one, but it's there. This will allow you to get more than 90 degrees from the arm. He's got a 360 spin, both in the shoulder and in the bicep. Double jointed elbow is going to give you more than 90. Backpack comes off. And then he has got a wrist swivel, and is it on a hinge? Yes, the wrist is hinged, so you can move his thing. It's blocked a bit by this pad, but the pad is textured and nice, and it doesn't hinder it enough for me to complain about it. The head, you can't really get it up. <laughs> Goes down that much. Turns. So yeah, it can do the full exercise spin, but you won't get much attitude out of him. This is a solid piece so you can't really bend him forward too much except using the waist and that's an acceptable bend at the waist and then that's where your swivel is too and he can do a full three city spin legs will come out that far so pretty much the full van damme go forward that much so eh, close to 90 but not exactly and oh look at the texturing he's even got pockets textured in there so good this is a great sculpt Double jointed knees are going to give you more than 90. Comes down. He has a shin swivel cut in at the top of the boot, so very well hidden. Foot goes down that much. Foot comes up that much. And the pivot is fantastic. You can basically get anything you want from it. So articulation is pretty much anything you could ask for. A bit limited in the head, but again, for the price you get for these guys, when you combine it with the sculpt and just everything about it, it's value for money. I mean, it's the same price as a Marvel Legends, but infinitely nicer design, better paintwork, more accessories. Yeah, it's not a named character, but that just makes it more impressive. They didn't have to go as hard as they did, but they did, and it's fantastic. So, what am I going to rank this? It's just those goggles. Those goggles are annoying me because they have scraped the helmet in me trying to put them on. That shouldn't be a thing that happens. Uh, 4.75, very, very close to perfect. If they just nailed those goggles, I would have been so, so pleased. But yeah, if you can get your hands on a bunch of these and a bunch of the Cobra Infantry and the Red Ninjas, you can build yourself a spectacular looking army. So yeah, hopefully you can find this guy. Uh, 4.75 out of 5, let's dive into the pictures and wrap this up. One sec. Okay, folks, and there you have it, the G.I. Joe Classified Cobra Viper. Really, really solid figure, looks amazing, incredible, yeah, sculpt, paintwork, great articulation for what it is, 
decent accessories. Uh, yeah, can't really fault it apart from the crappy goggles that scrape off the head paint, which is, to be fair, kind of a serious issue, but again, at the price point, like, that's what you're gonna get. But still, very, very good. Really love it. And if you can pick up multiple of these guys, I think the issue there is that, once again, it's been tricky to find. I mean, I just stumbled into a Forbidden Planet and saw it, but it hasn't appeared online anywhere. And I don't see it around that much. Yeah, I think it's a tricky one to find, and that's just what this line needs to fix. Why is it so hard to get your hands on this? Uh, anyway, veering off the point. But basically, if you can find this guy, definitely pick him up. And we'll end this review there. If you enjoyed this, we have plenty more that are updated very regularly. We've also got Hero House, Figure Fights, The Wreckers, Top 10 lists and Ranking lists. Just loads of content to enjoy. So please like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you again. Thanks for your time and all the best. Bye.